Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Well, hi. It's good to be with you on another Daily Dose brought to you from Faith Baptist Church in the Franklin, Middletown area. We are glad to be with you. I'm Doug Krause, youth pastor here at the church. Wanted to ask you a question. What motivates people? Um, everybody does what they do for different reasons. Some people are motivated by applause. Some people are motivated by money. Some people are motivated by the way they were brought up. But whatever motivates you tells us everything about you. I want to look at two ladies who were motivated by what I believe is the greatest motivator of all, love. We find in Mark chapter 15, the uh, time right after Jesus has been crucified. And we're going to begin reading in verse 42 of Mark chapter 15. The Bible says, And now when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, J Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, which also waited for the kingdom of God, came and went in boldly unto Pilate and craved the body of Jesus. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead, and calling, him, calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he knew of it, the centur and when he knew of the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. And he bought fine linen and took him down and wrapped him in the linen and laid him in a sepulchre, which was hewn out of a rock, and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulchre. And Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph beheld where he was laid. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll away, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away. For it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he said unto them, Be not affrighted, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. This, of course, is the story of from the time Christ died and was taken off the cross, he was buried. And then we see motivated ladies who genuinely love Christ. And I want to show you just a couple of thoughts uh, here today. The first thing, uh, as we look at their example of their love for Christ, is found in verse 47. It said that, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph beheld where he was laid. Their love was pure. Their love was pure. Pure meaning you can see through it. When something is totally pure, you can actually see through it. Like pure water, for example. Think about this. Jesus was dead. There was no selfish agenda here for these ladies. There was no future uh, in their mind with this situation. Jesus was dead. Uh, he would be able to do nothing more for them in their minds. There was no gain to be gotten by what they were doing. Their love was pure. It was motivated by the fact that they known Jesus and they loved Jesus. You know, folks, if Jesus didn't do one additional thing 
except save our souls. He's done enough. But he adds to the salvation of our souls with blessing after blessing after blessing. So their love was pure. Is your love pure for the Lord? Is it clean? Is it see-through? It ought to be. Mine ought to be. And then their love was sacrificial. Look at verses 1 and 2 of chapter 16 that we read. It said that they brought or that they bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And then it said very early they came to the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. You know, their love was sacrificial. It cost them something. They had to spend their money to buy the spices that they were going to anoint the body of Christ with. They were giving of their tangible goods. And then it cost them sleep. It, they rose up very early and they went down before the rising of the sun. You know, we are a people that often look for what is the easiest. How late can I sleep in? How little can I do? How little can something cost me? They didn't look at it like that. They wanted to sacrifice. Let's spend our own money. Let's get up early. Let's go down and love Jesus. Their love was sacrificial. It cost them something. And then thirdly, their love was unexplainable. Look there at verse 3. The, as they're walking, they say, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher? Now, picture this. They are walking down there, and as they're walking to do what they're going to do, they say, uh, How are we going to get that big stone out from there? They two ladies were not going to be able to move it. They didn't have an answer to that, yet they continued to walk. You and I often desire to have everything answered in front of us, everything to be made clear before we even enact anything. But in fact, they were willing to walk that walk, even when it was unexplainable, even when it made no earthly sense. You see, we have the hindsight to know that the stone was going to be rolled away. They didn't. God rewards uh, this type of approach. Instead of excuses, they did the unexplainable love unto Jesus that we tend to hold off on because we don't have all the facts in and all the uh, explanation already presented to us. And then finally, they were rewarded. If you look at verse 6, the Bible says that the angel said unto them, Be not affright, do you seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified? He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they had laid him. Can you imagine that moment? God rewards the pure. God rewards the sacrificial. God rewards those that walk on ahead even when it's unexplainable. God rewards pure, genuine love. Is that the kind of love that I have for Jesus Christ? Is that the kind of love that you have for him? It should be. And you and I need to try to remember the story of the Marys and how they were motivated by love. And I hope that'll be what you and I motivated are motivated by as well. God bless, and we hope that you'll tune in again. Take care. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church.
Have a great day in the Lord.